Hello, dear students, and welcome to a new English lesson. Today's lesson is for the sixth grade. The topic is at the cinema. I am Ivana Bokashek, your English teacher today. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to show understanding of the text by listening to the dialogue about going to the cinema, and you will be able to write about your favorite film using the simple past tense. For today's lesson, you will need a pencil, a notebook, a laptop, tablet or a smartphone, QR code scanner, internet connection, and when you see this icon, it means that you can pause this lesson, take your time to do your tasks properly. Let's start with a question. What does this picture remind you of? What is it? It's the red carpet. It is usually for celebrities to walk on. So you've got the red carpet and now the film projecting. The question is, where are you? At the cinema, of course. Here you can find some words and phrases related to the cinema. When you ask what's on, it is the same question as which film can you watch at the cinema? What time is it on? asks about the time when the film starts at the cinema. You need to buy a ticket to watch a film there and there is always a number of your seat on the ticket, meaning the place where you need to sit at the cinema. Let's check other words connected with the topic of the cinema. Row. What's row? Do you know? It's a line of seats, a red. A movie theater. It's the cinema in American English. The civil screen is the screen where you watch a film. Filmski ekran, platno. And audience means a group of people in one place to watch a film, odnosno publika. How do you feel when you watch the film of your choice at the cinema? Probably excited? Yes. When it's a good film on with your favorite actors, you can't wait to see it. Are you relaxed? Watching films makes us enjoy our free time. When it's a new film on, you are curious to see how good it is. And of course, a film entertains people, so you are usually entertained, especially when you watch your favorite type of a film. Can you add more adjectives to this list? Pause the lesson and write them down in your notebook. We usually go to the cinema to enjoy our time watching films, meet our friends and have a great time together. But is the cinema just an entertaining place? Is it an educational place? You can learn foreign languages like English, French, Italian, German, and many others as well. Do you remember which words or phrases have you learned from watching films so far? You can learn more about historical events and important people in history. It is really useful to pay attention to a history film because you can connect it easily with the lessons you learned in history at school. You can also learn about cultural differences 
especially if you watch a film where the characters are from different places and you can learn about their habits and customs. Films help us to understand the importance of art in our lives. Why? The art of photography, acting, music brings different types of creativity together. Do you know any other reasons why cinema is educational? Pause the lesson and write them down in your notebook. How old is the cinema? Do you know? Let's find out when it all started. Edgar Newbridge was an English photographer and he wanted to show a horse lifting its legs while galloping. He captured the horse in motion by his camera in 1878 and he created what we call today a GIF, a short animation. Thomas Edison and William Dixon invented the first kinetoscope in 1891. It's a kind of box which showed the picture by picture and people looking inside this box watched moving pictures like in a film. The Lumiere brothers invented the lightweight film projector in 1895 and they played 10 short scenes together lasting less than a minute. Which century is it? It's the 19th century. Well done! Let's see more sentences on these incredible inventions. Edward Mewbridge created the first gif of a galloping horse. He photographed the horse in different stages of its gallop in 1878. As you can see, there are two verbs in bold. Created, photographed. In 1891, Edison and Dixon invented the first projector. People watched a moving picture in this box, kinetoscope. Again, two verbs in bold. Invented, watched. In 1895, the Lumiere brothers improved Edison and Dixon's kinetoscope, an early camera, and started filming. Here we've got improved, started. All the verbs are in the past. So which tense is it? It's the simple past tense. Take a look at these verbs. What do they have in common? How do we form the simple past tense? That's right. Nice. We put the ending ed or d. The simple past tense se tvori tako da se na pravilni glagol doda nastavak ed ili d. Kada ćemo dodati nastavak d? Kada glagoli završavaju na e, doda se nastavak d. Create, created. Kada glagoli završavaju na zatvornik, kao što je invent, onda treba dodati nastavak ed, invented. Trebamo istaknuti i neka pravila pisanja glagola koji imaju nastavak ed. Kada jednosložan glagol završava y, a pored y se nalazi zatvornik, tada se y mijenja u i, I dodaj se nasavak ed. Try, tried. Kada jednosložan glagol završava y i pored njega se nalazi otvornik, y se ne mijenja. Doda se nasavak ed. Stay, stayed. Kada jednosložan glagol završava zatvornikom, a pored njega se nalazi otvornik, Zatvornik se podvostručava kada dodamo nastavak ed. Stop, stopped. 
Simple past tense je prošlo svršeno glagolsko vrijeme i točno znamo kada se radnja dogodila u prošlosti. Da bismo odredili vrijeme radnje u prošlosti, služe nam vremenski izrazi ili time expressions. Koje vremenske izraze znate koje se koriste u ovom glagolskom vremenu? Bravo! Možemo kazati koje se godine radnja dogodila, na primjer in 1878. Možemo koristiti riječ ago, kako bismo rekli prije koliko se godina radnja dogodila. Ili možemo reći last night, last year, last month, last week, last June. I možemo koristiti riječ yesterday. Na primjer, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. Edgar Newbridge didn't invent the first movie. As you can see, there is a part in bold, didn't invent. Edison didn't believe his invention can make a lot of money. Again, we've got a part in bold, didn't believe. The Lumiere brothers didn't use color in the first film. You can notice a part in bold, didn't use. Why are these three parts in bold? Because the verbs are in the simple past tense. How do we form a negative sentence in the simple past tense? What do we need to form a negative sentence? Correct. We need didn't and an infinitive. Nječni oblik se tvori tako da se uz pomoćni glagol did koristi not. I u tom slučaju trebamo paziti da glavni glagol nema nastavka ed ili d. Možemo skratiti did not tako da umjesto slova o koristimo apostrof. Didn't. Dakle, i ovaj crveni uskličnik nas upozorava. Ne smije se stavljati nastavak ed ili d na glavni glagol u nječnom obliku, jer pomoćni glagol did već izražava radnju u simple past tensu i u tom slučaju nastavak ed ili d je suvišan. Ostao je još jedan oblik čiju tvorbu trebamo tvrditi. Upitni oblik. Kako se tvori upitni oblik? That's right. Let's see our example. Did Edward Mubridge invent a device to make a gift-like image? Koristimo pomoćni glagol did. Da bismo postavili pitanje i možete uočiti da glavni glagol nema nastavka ed. Jer je pomoćni glagol did izrazio radnju u simple past tensu. Mogući odgovor na dane pitanje je kratak, kao na primjer Yes, he did. Let's see next question. Did Edison create the first motion picture projector? What's the answer? Yes, he did. And another question. Did the Lumiere brothers use color in the first film? What's the answer? No, they didn't. Good work. Let's practice now. In the first example, you've got a question. How do we form a question in the simple past tense? What do you need? You need did, an auxiliary verb, pomoćni glagol. Gap, you, gap, watch, any new films last month. You need to fill in the gaps now to get the correct question. So the correct solution is 
Did you watch? There is no ending ed. Be careful. In the second example, you've got a negative sentence. My friend Gap not want to sit in the front seat last week. Take a moment and think how to complete this gap. didn't want. Notice that the verb doesn't have ending ed. It's really important. My favorite cinema gap opened last year. Opened. You added the ending ed. I gap like sitting in the first row yesterday evening. Liked. As you can see, the verb ends in E and you need the ending D. Good work! For more practice, follow this link, bit.ly, S-P-T, regular verbs, or just scan this QR code. When you need to fill in a negative sentence, use the short form of did not, in other words, didn't. Don't forget to pause the lesson to do this task. Let's go to the cinema. You need to listen to this dialogue and do the following tasks. Follow this link, bit.ly, going to the cinema or just scan this QR code. And now a task to do. Your favorite film is on and you want to watch it again with your friends. Invite your friends to the cinema. Then write a text in 60 words what you liked about this film when you watched it last time. Use following verbs enjoy, watch, finish, start, last, listen, play, like, share, want, talk. Use the keywords related to the cinema and film from this lesson. And you can make a trailer too. There is a digital app to use on this link, bit.ly, Adobe Spark Post 1, or just scan this QR code. When you finish your work, share it with your teacher. And don't forget, have fun! Now you will see a trailer for the sixth graders story. It's time to see how good your writing is. To find it out, you need to check vocabulary, spelling and punctuation, grammar in your writing, and of course, pay attention to the levels. Take your time and think about the levels you have achieved. Before this lesson ends, you need to do self-check about what you've learned and what you've done. Is there anything you don't understand? Write in also. When you finish it, please don't forget to show it to your teacher. You've certainly done a nice work today. Have a nice day and see you soon again. Bye.